Hey, it's another Saturday evening. Um, we have pizza. And as I said, I want to mix things up a little bit and I'm finally doing it. We're playing something else. And as you can see, it's Star Explorers. This game, um, I think is, well, it's recently, well, maybe not recently, I don't know, but I've seen it a lot more on uh, around on YouTube, people playing it. So I think it's quite popular actually. Um, when I bought it, I don't think it was as popular. This was a quite a while ago. But now I'm finally gonna play it. I'm quite excited to play it. Um, I've played a little bit of it before because I reckoned it might be better to see how this works a little bit. So I mean we're talking 15 minutes here or something. And no, I didn't figure it all out. Still a bit of a mystery how it works. But um we'll see. So uh, I'll just uh, going to start a new game and then uh, take it from there. But uh, before I do that, uh, of course, I want to plug my own game, uh, Taxi Nut, for a minute. Hey, would you like to explore a sci-fi fantasy universe through the eyes of a humble taxi driver? Taxi Nut is a game for PC with a huge open world galaxy where you can do just that. You can fly on planets over alien cities and landscapes land at bars, diners, shops and many other weird and wonderful places. Take off into space and fly to different planets or other star systems. Find equipment and abilities to help you deal with the difficulties of navigating alien worlds. Taxinaut features a completable 30 plus hour storyline about finding a friend lost in the galactic underworld. Taxinaut is now available on Itch.io and Steam Early Access. Right, a uh, new game. Enter your name. Ask Grom. Enter. Uh, okay. From what I've seen of it, I know it's interesting. <laughs> We're gonna see. I only found um, like planets that are like very barren and stuff. But as I said, I played 15 minutes of it something there is sort of like a quest or there are quests you want and i didn't even quite understand in the beginning that i was supposed to follow this so i just started kind of exploring very randomly so here we go i might have to will i read out the quest things here i'll move my microphone a little bit because this is so small i have to hunch over to see it mothership transit complete Yes, urgent incoming message. Well, we'll see that in a moment. Press tab to close tutorial. No, we won't do that. Current objective, find and reach mothership. Sorry, now I've done this bit. Click on computer panel to get mission details. Right click on blinking light to warp to another ship. No, they, uh, to mothership, not another ship. They mean this thing, that's the mothership. Uh, use star chart to help locate Target sector, press O to toggle star chart overlay, mothership and stars highlighted when on. Press escape to exit the game menu, go to the game menu, options to view or chase controls. Well, we won't do that. I will open this. Well, I'll first read this, did it change? Hints, read message from mothership to understand mission. Access star chart with button in lower right corner. Star chart helps navigate galaxy. Quests and trade are only available near Mothership. I read in the manual uh, the developer, uh, I forget his name, Schmidt. Something Schmidt. He wants to keep the tutorial tears or like to the point. And he's sure doing that. <laughs> these line, these sentences. Read message from Mothership to understand mission. Access star chart with button in lower right corner. It's like, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think it's nice, really. Um, so I'll hide this so we can read the mission. This is Commander Mackie of the Earth vessel Altair. Since you are reading this, it means you survived Earth's destruction. We've set up a beacon to help find the Al Altair. It's the green blinking star you should see up ahead of you in sector 43. Okay, sector 43. We are in need of help, so please warp to our location. Then you can talk to Professor Ignatz who will explain the details. 
Uh, the Altair is the last of Earth's motherships. Here you will be able to receive your mission requirements, buy or sell items and find quests to complete in exchange for quants, money. And note, it is a good idea to stay near the mothership until you have the good, a good grasp of how the star chart works. Also, our trader has an upgraded star chart you should consider purchasing as soon as possible. Important, Ignaz Nets has urged me to mention that there, here in the post-Earth universe we use the Kelvin scale to measure temperature. Freezing happens at 273.15 Kelvin. 300 Kelvin will be a nice day on Earth. Always check your suit's temperature range in your inventory before landing on a planet. Right. That's there, Commander Mackey in the right corner, top right corner there. So, I think we have to fly to the Altair vessel first, which um, is this blinking thing here. Now I know you can just right click on it. Warp to Bondership. Warp engines engaged. Indeed. I mean, I love this already. <laughs> it said in the manual you're supposed to play it in uh, like uh, 1024 by 768. That's a very used, well, you probably know, but if, in case you don't, that used to be a very standard or a long time resolution that most people would use for games. I remember I was so happy when I could on Windows 95 when I could put it into 1024 times 768. But, uh, yeah, incoming message again. Well, let's see what this says. Click on the computer panel to get mission details. Use star chart to help locate target sector. Press O. Oh, we've read that bit already, I think. All right. Press space to toggle combat mode. Use WSAD. Uh, and what? C U U C U. What? I don't know these acronyms. Is that C U U C U D C U R C U L? Is it Control U, Control D, to Control Ship? Uh, I know you can turn the ship with the arrow keys or roll it and pitch, roll and pitch. It's with the arrow keys. I just figured that out by kind of trying. And sort of lateral movement and forward and backward is with the WASD. That's what I figured out. Um, so maybe CUU and CUT and CUR mean those. Whatever, anyway. And also click on this, right click, and then dock will do that. Though that might have been a mistake. We didn't read the message first. This game does crash occasionally. For me it does anyway. I mean, no big deal, but... <laughs> Mothership successfully I'm a bit wary of doing things not quite in the order that the developer would expect, maybe. Um, oh Jesus. This is making me sick. Go in this. Like approach. Professor Reginald Ignatz, like Ignatz Mouse. Crazy Cats. That was a very st a newspaper strip. I don't know if you know it. In the 1920s, I think. Uh, anyway. Professor Reginald Ignatz at your service. I will be in charge, uh, well assigned, to give you mission details as needed. We've managed to rescue most of Earth's inhabitants but we need fuel to get to another earth-like planet if you choose to help us and will greatly appreciate it we need to find planets with acnexium crystals check the stars in sector 21 for planets with silicate rock okay though not always they are known to have the acnexium we need find the crystals underground in caves then drop <coughs> a beacon around the planet from space to let us know you found it. Unfortunately, you can't board the Altair yet. The airlock seems to be jammed at the moment. Maybe our engineers will sort things out by the time you get back. Sorry, I'll just take a drink. Again, this thing with my voice. A new development. In the last couple of weeks. Um, we need those 
agnexium crystals but feel free to explore any nearby stars first. Stick with standard stars or red giants if you want to find planets with moderate temperatures at 200 to 400 Kelvin. You may want to find some more resources, upgrades or weapons before traveling to a distant sector. Also check out your star chart and see how it works. Good one. Why don't you just tell me how it works? It's a valuable tool when exploring the galaxy. Sectors, stars and planets will only appear in it after they have been visited or scanned. Oh shit. I heard something but I don't know what it is. Um, target sector will highlight the sector where you need to find Agnexia. And show overlay will allow you to see that sector in your main view screen. Yeah. Um, so, just one thing. What did it say there? With Agnexium, check the start for Billicate. Yeah, that was a good tip. And find the crystals on the ground. That's something about red planets. Feel free to explore any nearby stars. Stick with standard stars or red giants if you want to find planets with moderate temperatures. What do you mean standard stars? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know anything about this stuff. I don't know what a standard star is. Like a yellow star? Like we have. Is that yellow? I have heard the term white dwarf. That's about it. And I assume the thing looks white. <laughs> okay. Exit panel? No. Star chart. This is the sector we're in. This is all a bit clunky, but in a way that I love. Kind of. <laughs> star chart is empty. Sectors, stars and plants appear only after they are visited. Click on a sector to see data and options. Now, I don't know why... Which sector is this? It doesn't even say. Oh, sector 43, target sector, and now it all of a sudden, let's read this. Now that you have selected the star sector, you may select the stars panel to view specific information about any star or plant in the sector which has been scanned. View the location of your current mission by selecting target sector. Above, show overlay will show the sector on the main view screen. Toggle on of it all. I will do that as well. Um... So, in this one, we don't know any stars yet. So, but when we get out of this... Oh yeah, and the undocking, what was that? S, I think. In this, for example. So, oh, you see these green lines here? I think they are the box that the sector is, you know, the cube the sector is in. Like if you see in here, it's sort of... Oh, it's got the wrong one again. This one, see, it's like a cube. Because we have the overlay on, it's showing that cube here at true scale or whatever. But this star should be one that's in there, I guess. That's something else. And this one. Oh, look. Pan a bit, it's more clear. I have to do that with two hands because. I mean, maybe it was meant to be played with a controller, you know, with a joystick. So we just... I mean, he was talking about that one is red there. It's right ahead of us, so... I guess that's a good candidate. I don't know what is meant by standard stars. Warp. Now you have to mind your fuel as well. So... Right. I pretty cool this. So he scanned. Star system successfully approached. I don't know what that is. Board ship. Um that probably would be dangerous. Can I save? Save game. Okay. Let's board the ship. Alert, ship is too far to board, move closer. 
Okay, we'll skip that for now. There's probably aliens on it anyway or something. But you right click on these and then you can do a scan. Um, I don't know actually what that does because you can see this stuff immediately as you click it, I think. Yeah, that one there. Select that. No, I have to get closer. It's it's very pernickety with the uh, selecting. Like, for example, here this, see? I won't be able to because it's moving. Okay, we have this one anyway. What does it say here? Surface silicate rock. That was recommended. No atmosphere. Um, temperature. So that's brutal. That's nearly absolute zero to feel very cold. Uh, I don't know. Then it's it, they said to check out your suit, but this is my suit. Temperature low, two hundred. So that's not good. I guess I can't go there. Right? Now where are the other planets? That's a good question. You have to kind of swoop around for them. You can't just go into the map here. It won't show them. This 20, 23, 21 stars. So I know only this star. I have to select it, then click planets. But I know only one, that's the one I just scanned. It doesn't show the other ones. So you have to kind of swoop around like the oh, wrong buttons. Like this. Like there's one. See, I already know temperature. Why do I need to scan it? That's what I don't get. And then the planet name is underscore 2112. This is like the sector name. And this one is temperature 60 to 90. Again. They're scanning it though or something. Or they're in orbit of it. Um, this one. All these temperatures are brutal. 3 to 43. I think if you, oh that's it if you when you scan it it becomes part of the the catalog there of your star chart did I do this one 40 to 60 is this a planet no that's just a star I think I did this one already in the database is there let's fly closer not quite sure I don't see my speed or anything this when is this I don't know like is that a planet or can't really select it not yet anyway this thing don't know doesn't want to select it yeah there's another one of those bits I right click it nothing what is it like another ship or something. Warning, ship has entered gravity well. What? Warning, you soul engine to warp to safety. Oh. I thought solar engines were for flying in the solar system. I think we're okay. I mean, I'm moving, am I not? Is this uh, system not good? It's not good. Let's see, one, two, three, f uh, four planets, and it says 
Oh, it doesn't pass. <laughs> I thought it would pass if it went in here. No. Oh, okay. Main menu. Game will restart. Oh, hello. Welcome to my OBS. <laughs> it's a bit clunky. So when you die, the game has to restart? <laughs> well, why not? Uh, load game. Oh, here is my other ones that I tried. Mope, blah. But we are going for Moscrom. Okay. So this should be when we just entered the star system. Uh, oh, turn on this again. These are all useless, so I'll scan them anyway, just in case. I don't know in case of what, but just in case. It might have missed something there. Like, how many planets are there on this system? Um, dart shard. Oh, there's. That's odd. I mean, the whole thing was restarted. But it's still scanned. Does it auto save or something? Right, because it knows these now. Right. Um. Stars. Four planets. And I've scanned four. And these are all two. Where's the temperature? Radius, orbit. Oh yeah, these are all too cold for for my suit. It, I click it. I can't because I'm already there or something. Um, yep, too cold. Am I not zoomed in? Oh. Right, so this one, I don't know, I can't visit those. So, we'll try another. I assume this is in the same sector because it's green. We'll try it. Warp engines engaged. Mm -hmm. Seem to be exiting the sector. Let's see here. Star Sector zero, 00 Or will that update? Star System successfully approached I think we're in the wrong fucking sector Here No, not this Mars. <laughs> Yeah, I see this is our ship We're in Sector 0 now how am I supposed to see that? Oh, I can't. Can I move the... This... 21? This one. Okay. Now I don't see anything in it. Yeah, they're all like... Wait. Sector zero. Oh, star... 21. Or is that the one I just explored? I don't know. Fuel insufficient for return journey. Oh. Proceed with caution. Right. Something is off though. Or did I have to elect the sector first before I see the stars in it? Star system successfully approached. Okay, what's this? No, it's too cold for us. Yeah, I don't think there are many that are... No, it does say 200 low. I don't know why you would say low after high. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> Holy shit. What's this? 60 to 90? 
This is not a good environment for us. Oh, stop twirling. Is that everything there is here? Does it say here? Stars. Wait. I had more though, no? The game is severely broken at the moment. That's possible. I think I saw on Steam there was an update or something. Actors, stars, planets? Just not responding. I did scan here. Is this sector 21? Doesn't even say. 21, right. Stars? Right. Planets 4. Okay, so there should be 4. Why is the other one though that I did? When we came back to the game it was here. Now it isn't. Or were we here? Did I have it wrong? Or what's, what's this? That's Mothership. What's the distance? Doesn't say. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Is this the same fucking thing I went to? I think it is. Alright. Let's go back to the mothership because I'm running out of fuel or something, I think. We'll try this again. No? Like this, I guess? Now it said in the manual. I can travel from here, but... Ow. Can't click anything. Right click does nothing. How do we even find this now from here? Is it because it haven't... My god. Select the sector, okay. Stars? There's no stars in this fucking thing. <laughs> now I can't zoom in. Hey, I just don't know if you hear my mouse. No. Stars? No. Click this? No. What the fuck? Planets? No, can't click it. Target sector? Yeah, 21, that's... Oh, that's 43. What the fuck? Forty-three? Twenty-one. I think there's something really broken. I don't know. See, on YouTube I saw people having fun with this, but... <laughs> Not sure I'm having fun right now. What am I supposed to do? No, can't click it. Okay, let's... Right. Every fucking star is selected. Is it? This is... In sector 43. But oh, that's kind of where our ship is. Star type red dwarf. And this one? Also in 43, in that one. But they're only 43 because I have sector 43 selected. Do I? How do I get... Oh, now I can zoom with you. Just let me... Why can't I select the mothership? I don't know how to get to the mothership then. Is this it? No, star. Oh, that blinks. That might be it. Yes. Fuel insufficient for return journey. Proceed with caution. I mean, I hope I can refuel there.
Dark. <clears throat> oh shit, nothing's happening. There's a message. Um, it's the same message. Right, but I need fuel. Trade? Oh, they have some. Pistol ammo. Some weapons. Health kit. I have no... I have 211 quants. Where's the fuel? No fuel. Where's that fuel? Mount value price 40. Okay, let's just check one more time my ship. I don't buy it for nothing. No, fuel still on 80. And what's in quests? Find an ancient alien lamp. Diamonds. Find diamonds. Find an alien eyeball. Hmm. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Just <laughs> I'm starting to space out from that music as well. I don't see anything with fuel, so okay, except maybe these, because they need them. I assume that's what makes fuel purchase amount. Wait, is that per? Okay, right. Use? Okay, alert. Right, so that is fuel. But that goes really fast then. Uh, exit. How much did that give us? Six? Or like 26? So, well, okay. One per crystal. That won't even get us. Okay. <laughs> Seems like people have done this because I see them walking on planets and shit on YouTube. Oh, I must be retarded. 42, you hear buy all. Use. Oh, not so. Okay. So now we have 150 or something. <laughs> On the 48. <laughs> um, right. Why are you turning? Oh, I have to select the right vector actually. Star chart. 23, 21. Okay. Oh, it does still have. Right. Uh, exit. Turn somewhere. Did I turn the overlay off? So, you're the one, I guess, that I scanned, but how are you supposed to know? This one. Oh, it says they're not in database, and it is in sector 21. Okay, let's warp to this one. Warp engines engaged. I don't know, I feel something is not working correctly sometimes. At that star chart. Sorry, I'm leaning too back. I put my microphone a bit in because I have to hunch over to read some of this. Right. Star system successfully approached. What's this? Oh, well, that's still too cold. Uh, 
Nope. I think that's a gas giant, so that doesn't even matter. Do you? No, too cold. This game is too fucking cold. No atmosphere, it's a rock. <laughs> Temperature 1 to 14, Kelvin. Right. Miss anything here? There's one. Can I click it? Seven to eleven Kelvin. Oh that is that one? I have to fly to it I guess. Did I do this one? Right, let's fly to that one. Again. Click it already. Fuck. I think I did it. Eight thirteen anyway. Uh, you? No. Let's look here. How are we doing? Stars. Let's. Why can't I now see? One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine. And it has nine, so I scan them all and they all suck. Can't believe it. Temperature? Yeah. Too low. Too low, too low. Too low. Yeah, they're all too low. Hmm, okay. What's the fuel? 114, so that didn't cost that much. What about this thing? Not in database and it's in sector. But let's do it so. Sector 21. 21. Right. This looks Star better. System successfully approached. Sedimentary rock is still too low. Temperature wise. Oh, that's one. Met metamorphic rock. Atmosphere, methane, vapor. <laughs> yeah, well. Let's do it. Oh, let's save it. That's advisable. Right click. Orbit. Finally gonna see a planet. Here I'll move my microphone a bit more normal again. Don't know what all those things are. They're like meet um, asteroids or something. Oh. Looks very, uh... Orbit established. Yeah, you guys haven't even seen this yet. Here, so once you've done this, you get up, you can walk around your main ship. Right? <laughs> it looks kind of gruesome. But it's cool. In here there's like a, reminds me of a workbench area for a Fallout. <laughs> anyway, I figured out here, if you see the hand, you can rest and heal, I think. The rest I don't think does anything. 
at the moment or maybe never this must be the airlock it doesn't work that's when you dock at the station I guess and here is your lander so then when you go in it loads a little bit or generates the planet I guess I don't know, why does it have to be so clunky, though? Jeez. I mean, I know taxi not can be clunky, but... Those must be something to do with... The technology used. I mean, I wonder what this is, like OpenGL or something? Just, I mean, and I mean, like, no engine? Or something like that? Oh, it said in the manual something what it was, but... I forget. Oh, that red, that's a cave. We'll go there. This actually has a little bit of growth. I haven't seen that myself yet. Yay! Something. <laughs> Other than that. Oh, yeah. oh, what's that? A bigger growth. Sorry, I want to see that for a sec. Although I'll probably run out of air. Like a mushroom. Morrowind style. Well, they aren't blue, but everything is brown and Morrowind. Right, go in the cave. I think you can get really lost in these things because there's no map or anything and it all looks the same. <laughs> oh, wait. Is it? Let's turn on some. Why is it green? Can I pick this up? No. I don't even know how to. Oh, this I can. I don't know what it is. Emerald. Nope. We're looking for. So we're going, no, we'll do our stick, although that's interesting there. Something bubbling. Or is that dangerous? Can I shoot? Um, unload, value, weapon, laser, ammo 50, loaded 8. How do I fire it? That's jumping. Okay, let's see the options. Um, sorry, let's move my strafe. Anybody see? Shoot. Mouse lock. Middle mouse. Switch weapon. Left mouse button. Fire. Oh, I'm not holding the weapon. I think. This is the weapon. This is like a scanner or whatever. Righty, righty. What's going on with my microphone wire? Jesus. Okay. Leave that bubbly thing alone for now. Um, might be very hard. Yeah, no, no, no. Stick to the right. What's my oxygen? 71 All right, so we've done that Here's something What is it? More emerald crystals Might be worth a pretty penny You have no idea what I've covered now, or... And I'm already lost, I think. It's just brutal. <laughs> hmm.
How am I supposed to? This is all like it splits, you know, splitting pathways in it as well. Like this looks. Oh, this is realistic. One can really get lost in these. Oh god, here is a crossing. I don't think I stand a chance of getting back. This looks like that other area that I ended in and I turned around and I took that right split. Is it? It looks the same. No, because that didn't end like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I should be trying to get back. But... <laughs> Not a chance. Yeah, I'm trying. The left. Keep left. Let's see if my theory, if my thing works. Or if I do it wrong. Left. 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 Big left. Left. Uh, how do you? Like this, left, maybe if we just keep saying left, it helps. Got it off for a moment, yes there's the exit, nope. <laughs> I don't know, well that could be the first split, I went into, oh here's a little. Might have missed, or we haven't been here before, of course. Kinda likely. Uh. Oh, there's that thing! Oh, it's looking good! You see? It fucking stick to the right, stick to the left thing. It can work, sometimes. Now if you go in here, you see here that? Now my oxygen is refilling. So we can go back into that fucking cave. And uh, maybe go to that bubbly thing. I'm not going right again because... I'm not trusting it to work twice. The fact that it's now purple means I visited that cave. Or... What I got from the manual. I save this? No, not while you're on the planet, okay. Okay. Shit. Oh god. Escape at least worked. I was like, no, I lose all this. Kinda proud of getting out of that cave and I have a few crystals. Not the ones we need, but like emeralds. Okay, will I? Just to be sure this because that bubbly thing could be I mean this sound oh it's not there now we're doing it the other way around now always left and when we get back always right that thing okay? that um calcium <laughs> might have kidney stones already so I don't know whether they cause it or help it. Carrots. Well, this is it. Did it change actually? Is it now just a different cave? If I go into it. You know, because I exited it. 
obviously it might. Right. Uh, maybe not this thing. Still doing the left. In case you wondered. Shit, now I'm regret. I want to know what that bobbly thing was, but I was a bit afraid of it. And it's gone now. Bubbles. What are you? Um, left? We go left. It is, somebody said it was like, sort of like Deco Fallen Space. Kinda is that worse in a way, although you don't seem to have as many enemies, if at all. Probably do actually. I mean, why do you have weapons otherwise? Right, how's my 66? Um, I don't know, maybe I've seen it all already. Might be just going over the same stuff. I'm not seeing any crystals anymore, so... It does seem to indicate... I'm going over similar areas. Maybe it's in circles as well, who knows. This looks like that beginning area actually. And then soon I go left and that's where the exit is, is it? Yeah, I actually recognized it. <laughs> Amazing, I think I've done this cave. I'm assuming because it's too fucking crazy otherwise. What will I do? Um, get some oxygen, I guess, while I'm here. We find some more caves. Going on? Oh, you have to stand. You cannot stand fully in there. There's a particular pixel you have to stand on. What is this? Who oh, the shows on the map there? Scanner or whatever. Hmm. Nothing. <laughs> that music or the environmental sounds or the ambient music. Great. Why are those things blue on the scanner? Is that anything? Can I do something with it or? No. Nope. Oh, there's... Right, are they dangerous? Hmm, do I want to find out? I'd say they are. I just go to my ship, and take my winnings, and leave. I think that might be best. Oh shit, what? I mean, I don't know why that was. Is the cave we saw. We'll have a little look here when we see another cave. Probably regret that. Just 
slightly hearing that noise again. What the hell is going on there? Is that a thing? Some kind of invisible predator thing? You know that glitchy shit there? Or is that just kind of clouds or methane gas, supposedly? There's one of those things. If I could save it here, I would try it, but I can't, right? No saving. Let's just get the hell out of here. Fucking freaky. Um. Right. Oh, I forgot to move my... I was probably very distant that whole time. Got to move my microphone back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Here, I'm back. Close by. Maybe that's worse for you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we're like, finally, he's out of my face. Oh. Um, okay. Come on, give me the hand. It is so... Right. Don't exaggerate. Uh, have you scanned everything here? It has how many planets? Oh, I have to do stars. Nine planets. And we've... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've scanned nine, it seems. Really? Um, which one am I at? Normally you see a ship indicator, but is this the right sector? Oh, there's my ship. What? What the hell? Yeah, th this system didn't have even nine, did it? Oh yeah, planets nine. So that's what I have selected. It. I don't fucking know. What's this one? Can't select it. S. <laughs> okay. Orbit disengaged. Yep, that's what I kind of wanted, but. Maybe not so confusing as this. What? Wait, what's going on with my orientation? Oh, there is everything. Oh yeah, so this is a nine star system. A uh, nine planet system, is it? And scan that one yet. Confused. Oh, here, see, now it shows three, and now it shows a planet, the one, or a star, the one I'm at. It's so weird, this thing doesn't update or something. Uh, planets? Right. So here I've discovered, or scanned one, two, three, four. And how many is it supposed to have? Eight. Right. Jeez. How hot was this? Uh, no, very cold. Wrong buttons. No, did I scan it already? Already in database. Oh, uh, I mustn't orbit the same one. Be kind of stupid. There's one, I think. No, very cold. A star.
that the mother ship there twinkling because eventually I'm gonna have to get back oh is that the one I just looked at yeah it must be so close that one Nah, it's too cold, but I hadn't scanned that one yet. That one I must have. Oh, not in database. Right, how many do I have now? Uh, it's supposed to be eight. One, two, three, four, yeah, eight. Right, different star then. Let's hope I don't pick one that we already have. Um, some twinkling over there. This one? Or what's this? Why is that double? Or is that the mothership? But that's one I already know. Right, and this one? Not in database. Is the sector 21? Yeah, it is. Warp engines engaged. Cool. Hmm, looks busy. That saved his action. Star system successfully approached. Save. Right. Try the inner ring first. Maybe a bit of a systematic approach. 164 max, no, not for us. You? No, 118 Kelvin. I think I went on plenty of planets before, the, well plenty. That 15, 20 minutes I played it. I wasn't even looking at the suit. I think I can go on them, it's just a bit Hazardous to my health, they will say it as well. Or the, the, the computer voice will go. The planet has hazard. The first planet I landed on had like, what do you call them, tornadoes or typhoons or. What do you call those that look like elephant trunks? What's that? Oh, that's a star. So did I scan that one, right? This thing? Oh, it's a star. There's one. Come on now. Nope. This silicate rock. Let's just try that. And see what it does. Solar engines engaged. Oh, was that a planet there? Shit. Like a little one, be kind of hard to pick up on. Yeah, she's gonna go. There's a hazard or warning. Warning: Planet contains hazards. Proceed with caution. <laughs> No, not me. Just go in there. Fuck it. Uh, it'll be like red glowing, like you're getting hurt, but. I don't think it actually does much. Yeah, look at my health there, a hundred. Oh, it's diminishing the suit. I see. Let's see, any... I hope you can, that repairs when you go on your ship or something, though. 
Actually, it goes pretty fast, doesn't it? Uh, I don't remember what the yellow bit is. Yeah, I won't be able... Oh, and that looks like... It did warn in the manual. If you actually go in, like, in a methane planet, you can walk on it, but if you go into the liquids, it's not good. Yeah, I won't even be able to... Doesn't seem to be much here anyway. Apparently you can walk around the planets. Oh, there's a... It's just kind of enticing me. Let's see if we go in here, maybe it'll stop. It'd be unrealistic, but... I guess. I mean, I haven't been on other planets. How is my thing doing? Ah, it's still... Go quickly. Maybe find something here. Right. Oh. Is that... Yep, that is. So we can drop a, a thing here. Um, how's my suit? Oh shit. Get the fuck out of here. Oh god, did I make a mistake? No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bending very close to the microphone sometimes. Huh? Right, ship, quickly. I hope we can repair the suit. Of course we can. That would be ridiculous. Oh, shit. Right, we're not dead anyway. How do I drop a beacon, though? Uh oh, look at my suit. It's still like that. Is it... Barry? No. Maybe in here, then? This thing? Alert. Sleep pod restores your health. <laughs> yeah, but... Anything here then or something? How do I repair my suit? Don't tell me I have to buy some sh crap. Oh, it's still 28. God damn it. Oh, mistake. My health is fine. I wouldn't be going over again if this cursor... Oh, look, you see? It is so... Well, now it seems to be really easy. Oh, this is... Okay, right. Unequip, place item. No. Right, so that's where I can store stuff. Shit, I thought it was repair your suit. This thing? Eh. I think that's about it here. I have to buy it or something. Well, let's figure out anyway. Oh, you can't save here either. You don't want to pick, click exit because it dumps you straight to your desktop. <laughs> Okay, but I want the great quest. Wait, on the
I don't see any beacons. I don't fuck do I drop a beacon? <sighs> Options, trolls. Don't see it. Oh, there, activate beacon. B. Not that crazy. Okay. Okay. So, can I do that from here or is that dangerous? Mothership transit initiated. Oh, they're immediately just coming. Oh, we'll wait for that, so. Saves us some flying as well. Mothership transit complete. Okay, how do I now find them? Let's just detach from this thing. Why does it have to go so nuts? Look at this. Orbit disengaged. Yeah, and in a completely weird. I mean. Oh. oh, where's the mothership? I guess I can see on the star chart, but... Stars? Is that it? That dwarf? I can't click the mothership, you see. So, and it delete now. Nope. So I think that is the mothership, but maybe that's me. This thing is pretty useless. That dwarf. What is this? White dwarf. I think this is where I'm at. Can't zoom in any further. Uh, planets. Oh, maybe like that. Nope. Why can't I click you? Nope. Right. Is that it? No. I just have to kind of swerve around and look for it. Fucking crazy. I hope it still blinks like it did in the beginning. How the fuck? That it? No, that's just a star, isn't it? Trying to get a position where you can get kind of an overview is odd.
for you. I think it's just a star. Red dwarf. Oh, there it is. Right. Warp engines engaged. Phew. Oh, we're docking already. Mothership successfully approached. Yeah. See if Ignat says anything. Well done. Oh, we get an achievement. Great job on your first real mission. We've granted you an additional 100 quants to buy new equipment. With your confirmation of Agnexium crystals, we are safely moving the mothership to sector 21. Your next job is a little more complex. What? <laughs> Get out of here. First you need to find another planet with Agnexium crystals in sector 00. Then you'll need to fulfill at least one of the quests. Our researchers need help gathering certain things to help them understand this sector of the galaxy. This way, sector by sector, we can make our way across the galaxy to our new, hopefully permanent home. You're welcome to come aboard the Altair now. Oh, you've earned it. Psh. Earned it? I thought it was just a malfunction. The com to complete the quest, click on the quests button on the right while at the mothership. You will see a list of items to recover. If you find one of these items, bring it back to the mothership and return to the quests panel. Click on the quest and press submit quest for approval to fulfill the goal. Uh, quests will only be available to complete once each. Once each, but new quests may be added to the list upon reaching a new sector. So, note, quest items do not need to be recovered from the same sector as Agnexium crystals. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, click on the quest button on the right. The list of items, if you find one of these items, bring it back to the mothership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's kind of a nice system. You don't have to... Yeah, you can just see what they need. And when you bring it, you click on the questing and completes it. Submit quest for approval. Yeah. Right, got you. Uh, exit and then stand up. Let's see then. Oh, the wrong key. I was like, I can't move. And I got in a panic already. Wait, can I save? Nope. That would be nice. If I'm in the console though. I save. Oh no, E. Yes. Right. Wanted to save it first. Right, let's see this. Yes. Oh no, that already worked. Ooh, it has to load it. <laughs> that could mean all kinds of good stuff. Right. I'm sorry if this episode is a bit funky sound wise because I'm constantly moving back and forth my microphone because I don't know for you but that font up there wow I can't now uh, my eyes are shit but the uh, air tank I can barely read So I'm constantly hunching forward all the way over my microphone. Stuff. Welcome to Mothership Altair. Instead of putting on this music, maybe give the place a little paint job or something. Oh. Hello, my creepy friend. Ravel. Serious spacesuits. <laughs> Oh, 
That's what they do? Just a hand out begging? What? Name? Yuna... Yuna Yoon. I've heard... Oh, I've heard there are planets with crazy powerful storms and tornadoes. Yeah, I've seen them. That's why they meant tornado. Alien body parts are in high demand. What do people want them for? I miss the earth so much, I can't believe what happened. He has quests. Trade. What you got there, son? Pistol ammo. And an oxygen tank. Nah. And what's with the quests? Sapphires. Find sapphire crystals. Ancient statue injector. Find an alien injector. Well, there's another one coming. Right. Not right now. Starbucks. Again with the handout. Name Antoni Nikolic. I feel fortunate that we have the altar to live on. Uh, it's amazing. Alien body parts are in high demand. What do people want them for? Oh yeah. I've heard of planets with huge crystals growing on the surface. What do you have? Weapon. What you want for it? Fire rate. Price 41. Is this better than mine? Oh, finally something is kind of handy actually. Here an inventory screen for you and here the inventory screen for whoever you're talking to. I love it. And you can click on the things and compare. This is good actually. This is not, well it feels clunk, it's, but no I like this. Very good. Um, ammo. Max. What's max? Like how much <coughs> ammo you can have? Damage, oh it does more damage. Fire rate is higher. Sure. Can, will I be able to find you again? <sighs> Don't know. We will sell this one, we'll do it. And we'll buy this one. Hey, where is it though? The fuck? What's this? Mm, no. And this? Copper ore? Where's my gun gone? Inventory? I didn't take the money either though. What the hell? Or did it? Just buy it back? Oh, that's okay. What the f What's this thing? Sapphire. Oh, the other one had a Sapphire Crystals mission. 30. Oh, that did work. Let's see. Hey! <laughs> Quest? How many? It worked! Now I have more. <laughs> right. Alright, fellas, thanks. <laughs> Maybe he was just on his way to him to do it and then... I took it off him. Airlock 2. Okay. This is the frame rate going down all of a sudden. Don't feel that there's a lot of complexity to this uh, mesh. Don't know. Maybe these textures are super high res. 
<laughs> e, there, I have to move the microphone again. I'll have to sort that out with this game. Don't quite know. Maybe buy some glasses? Yeah. Oh. Serious spacesuits. This is big. Um, Sarah Chan, if I had to break through some part of a cave, if I had to break through some part of a cave, I'd use rockets. Can you believe what happened? I can't believe we ignored the signs. Alien body parts are in high demand. What do people want them for? What you got? What about my suit though? What's yours like? Oh shit. Yeah, I'm not, e I'm not even close to that. Not in perfect condition either. Um, open, I could... You are talking to an empty spacesuit. <laughs> nice. And you? You are talking to an empty spacesuit. Can I not repair my suit here? Can't believe it. Quests? Oh, that's what the other guy had. Ah. Wait. You have only one space. What's this? Oh, a repair kit. Fuck me. I don't even have money for that. Or this one. No. See why I'm here. Equip. No, wrong button. Space suits. Weapons and ammo. Bet I don't have the money for anything. Hello. Trade. This thing, a laser rifle. Oh, it's not. That's expensive. Um, the ammo 100, loaded 16. Max 200, max 40. Damage is more, fire rate is more. I'm getting this. Purchase? Ah, oh, that worked. This thing, unequip. Well, you can have that. We'll equip this. Yeah. Does it need some special ammo or something? What's this? Pistol ammo. Rifle ammo. And this is a rocket launcher. Sonic ammo. Laser pistol. Oh, a blueprint. We can make, uh, create things as well in this. Craft. What I was looking for. What's with this? Why is this in a separate? 30, 38, 35. What? Flip amount. Oh, this slightly less and more. Uh, we'll get this just in case. Right. Let's look at my inventory for a sec. Of all these crystals and shit. And a towel. I 
Hello. Okay, let's see. I think quest-wise, the scales. Who have bought that off the other guy? Everybody wants scales. This Polaris. Ship parts and repairs. Oh, let's just have a look. Oh, star chart, is it? Ugh, more expensive. I don't want to sell fuel, though. It's gonna be hard. This game. Oh, wait, what did it cost? Sorry. Trade. What you want for this shit? It's expensive, too. Kind of most important thing for me at the moment. I guess I'll just buy this one. That's all my money then. One well, nearly all of did what happened? Um I don't trust that. That look that should have been separate, no? Is this not the one I just collected myself? Or did it add it to it? Oh fuck. No, don't like it. Wait. When was the last time I saved? <sighs> I can't load. Really? I think it just didn't add it. Like that other time with the pistol. But this time it did take the money. Okay, we'll assume it did it right. Because else it probably did, I don't know. It's a bit odd though. I don't know, that's Starbucks? Administration. Waiting area. Little television. And the record of the steadily outward extension of humanity's range continue. Can the moon, having been reached, serve as a threshold to farther regions of space and be conquest and to conquest far more staggering than anything that has preceded? Isaac Asimov. How is that? Oh, we're going around like a star or something. Uh, you got an alien gland, right? So I didn't really get much out of this. Does this just take me back to... Uh... Oh no, it doesn't. Some other... Weapons... And here? Library. Something... Hmm, what's this? Ruby crystal. Not like the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Rosetta Stone. Oh, can I run? 
Oh, I can. This reminds me of some kind of shopping mall I was in in Germany. Ooh, what's this? Like a bar area. That's nice. I like this. Hmm, wonder where the developer got that. Maybe he drew it himself. Or herself. I think it was a E. Um I think I'll just go back to the ship. Oh yeah, but my spacesuit though. Still broken. I can't afford to repair a kit. Yet. Probably was a mistake buying that gun. Or all that. What did I buy? Uh, loads of fuel. Well, loads. <clears throat> Shit, was I in here? Nope. Don't even know. Journey. Oh yeah, this I saw. Oh yeah, I came out of here. Right. Thing with the fucking console every time. Look, give me that. Oh, oh that is right. Um, wait, how did I do it again? No, not that. Oh, so I don't. Oh, yeah, click here. This is ship repair kit. Maybe she just sells some crystals then, although wait. fire that's all it's worth calcium <sighs> right you can have the calcium as well 214 still not enough for the repair kit a towel worth 114. What is that for? Use item. What? Kind of don't want to do it. I mean, could give me 114. Here, we'll sell it. 339, was that enough? God, I have to go back. Um, I don't think it is. Quickly. Check.
Hello. Yes, I can buy that one. Well, they're both the same. Okay. No way. Okay. What's this? Heat resistance. No, this. Um, and use it. Or will we wait? Amount a hundred. No, we'll just keep it like that. I'm thinking we probably shouldn't have bought that either. We should have bought the star chart or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I guess I should end the episode now. I mean, we've, I've discovered a little bit of how it works. I think. I complete the first mission. Oh, not too bad, is it? I don't think so. I'll just go to the console and save there, and then that's it. That's it for tonight. Console. Right. Save game. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And hopefully see you again next time. Um, yeah, bye.